My name is Yuto Tanaka. I am currently a sophomore in high school. I have many friends and I'm living a fulfilling life. But I have a single problem. I don't have anything that I can call hobbies. I've tried many things that my friends have recommended to me, but none of them felt right. And I could not find a hobby that I could really get into. My friends say that I don't have to force myself to make a hobby, but I still want one. My sister-in-law is the reason I want a hobby so badly. I'm home! Oh, what is this? Oh, welcome back, brother. What do you mean? It's a CD of Rinka Summer, of course. What do you mean by, of course? This is my sister-in-law, Nanami Tanaka. She is one year younger than me, and although we're not related by blood, we're not bad siblings. She's the complete opposite of me. She's a hobbyist. She's into a high school idol named Rinka Fujishima. You bought a lot of these. <laughs> and they're all the same. Of course. It's for the handshake tickets. According to Nanami, the handshake ticket that comes with a CD is all you need. You can shake hands with Rinka Fujishima. At an event next month, the rate is 5 seconds per ticket. It's an amazing world. Of course, if it's for my favorite idol. I can't wait to meet her, Rinka-sama. Seeing you so passionate about it, I can't help but envy you for having a hobby. And then, one month later, the day of the handshake meeting came. Uh, that's a lie. Why on such a day? You have a fever. Uh, too bad you can't shake hands with her. This level of fever. Uh, no, but it'd be terrible if I went and give the ill to Rinka Summer. I wish I could take your place, but there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, that's right. Bro, go and shake hands for me. What? My brother will go to the handshake event and shake hands with Rinka Sama. And if I shake your hand after, isn't that practically like shaking hands with Rinka Sama? I don't think so. No? But in this case, we have no other choice. You're not busy anyway. Why don't you do it? For your little sister. Okay, I get it. Wow. All you need is a free brother after all, okay? Don't wash your hands after shaking hands with her, okay? I got ready for the handshake event and went to the event for her. Apparently, there would be no live performance this time. Just a handshake. There were many fans near the venue who I recognized as participants in the handshake event. I'm looking forward to this handshake event. I'm sure Rinka-sama will be rushing as usual. You idiot. It's okay that she's rushing. I can't get enough of those cold, puke-staring eyes. I can't wait to see that condescending look in your eyes. Rushing? According to what I've heard, she's always in a hurry. In other words, she's not very friendly. I wonder if that was okay with the fans. But it seems that everyone accepts it that way. However, my sister entrusted me with 10 handshake tickets. That means I have 50 seconds to shake her hand. And during that time, I'll be treated unfriendly. I'm starting to feel a bit worried. And then, the handshake session began. Lined up toward the space separated by partitions. I guess that's where Renka Fujishima is. The fans around me are excited. But they are strangely quiet. Next in line, please. After standing in line for a while, my turn finally came. I go to the other side of the partition as I'm called. There stood a beautiful girl who made me forget to breathe. So, she's Rinka Fujishima. I can see why Nanami is so excited. Handshake tickets. Ten of them, right? This way. You can see her for 50 seconds. Hmm. Uh, thank you for purchasing the CD. Uh, uh, awkward. I'm nervous around beautiful women, and I don't have anything to say to begin with. Um, uh, it's enough for me now. 
What? There's still more than 30 seconds left! I'm fine! Thank you very much! He's already gone. I'm not good at handshakes. I'm not very sociable to begin with. And I don't feel comfortable being pampered. If I keep my mouth shut, for some reason, my fans say I'm good at being unfriendly and I became popular. When they shake hands with me, they say things like, please be condescending, or I want to see your cold looks. They all mention about my character and they would never mention my singing. Well, it's easy for me to just keep my mouth shut and it's done. But it's the singing that I'm really focusing on. I'd like them to praise me on that one too. And by the way, that guy from earlier, he left when he had time. Didn't he like it? If I think about it. It's strange that I've been able to make my fans happy with that attitude. Maybe I did something wrong. A few months later, we decided to have a shake hands event again. After all this time, I almost forgot about the last time, but... Oh! When that person comes in, I immediately felt the guilt of that day come back to me vividly. I couldn't help but stare at him. He looked at me with an awkward expression on his face. I'm sorry about the other day. What? He apologized to me right out of the gate. I rolled my eyes at his unexpected attitude. And then, the handshake started. I was even more surprised. Actually, I was here the other day to replace my sister who had a fever. But then, I got curious and bought a CD myself. And it was amazing! I could feel the passion in the song. It's like it's building up momentum towards the last chorus. It was so cool! He excitedly tells me what he thinks of the new song. It's poor, conventional, but straight to the point and for real. Oh yeah! Actually, that song... I was so glad he understood and shared his feelings with me that I couldn't stop my excitement and talk quickly about the new song. He seemed surprised, but soon became serious and he listened to what I had to say. I was so happy. But soon came to the time limit. I wanted to talk to him more. After that day, I couldn't wait to shake hands with him again. I had a lot to talk about and I wanted to hear his thoughts. I took it as an incentive to work harder at my lessons and my job. This time, I didn't forget his face too. And then came the day of the long-awaited handshake meeting. Hi, how are you? He came to the next handshake session just as I had hoped. But his expression seemed a little gloomy. You have five seconds to shake her hand, since it's only one ticket. What? I'm sorry, I'm a little short of money. Oh no! Okay, you shake hands! Oh, yes! Uh, what's this? My phone number, call me! What? That was very clever of me. That's right! Once we exchange contact information, we can talk anytime. Hmm, what should we talk about? So, I waited for him to contact me. I waited day after day after day, but he's not calling me! Rinka Fujishima. That's the hottest name in my life right now. I found out about her song after a request from my sister-in-law, and it really stuck with me. I bought and listened to her past CDs and watched her live videos. I even went to handshake events regardless of my sister-in-law's request. I never thought that the hobby I had always wanted would come to me like this. I was living a happy life, but then, ever since the handshake session I went to the other day, I've just been worried about everything. What should I do? The reason for this is the phone number that Renka-san gave me. I have no idea why she gave it to me out of the blue. I mean, I don't even know if this is real. In the first place, she was weird the second time I went to shake her hand. She was supposed to be unfriendly, but she responded with a smile. As I stepped out of the room, I wondered if anyone could hear her. The fans in line were looking at me in confusion. It must have been an unusual situation. 
this phone number could be behind something too. It wasn't very nice to think so, but I couldn't call her, but... I finally found you! Uh, huh? What? Ringa Fujishima! Why are you here? Because you never contacted me. I hired a detective to identify you. Your name was Yuto Tanaka. Let's call you Yuto. Yuto, why didn't you call me? Oh, uh, I thought there must be some secret to ask for my contact information out of the blue. There's no such thing! I just wanted to talk to you more like I did at the handshake event. You want to talk to me? Yes, I do. We can talk about singing and many, many other things. Lately, I've been thinking about you so much that I haven't been able to do anything else. You have to take responsibility for that. What? Anyway, give me your contact information. Come on, get your phone out. Yes. Also, if you're free this Sunday, how about going to a cafe? I'd like to talk more. I can't believe this is happening, but... Rinka and I started seeing each other privately. When we meet, she wasn't unfriendly at all. She was rather aggressive, sweet, and very cute. I felt like I was going to fall in love with her. Nail it. But the alone time between us didn't last long. But that dreamy time between the two of us didn't last long. I was invited by Rinka-san to spend a holiday with her. For some reason, she came to my house that day. Yuto, are you there? What? Rinka-sama? Nanami came out to answer her, and she found out. Wait, brother, what's going on? Well, it's a bit complicated to explain. I don't care if it's complicated. Just tell me! It's not normal for an idol to visit your house! I was explaining to Nanami how it happened, but at the same time, I was terrified! Nanami would probably be angry if she knew I was friends with one of her idols. And if other people find out that I'm with Rinka-san, I thought it would cause more trouble for her. I see. I'm sorry, Nanami, for not telling you. I mean, you're mad at me, right? What? I'm not mad at you. I'm just surprised at you. She seems happy. If my favorite idol is happy, there's nothing more to it. Good job, bro! Oh, that's it? Lately, Rinkasama, she has been getting a reputation among her fans for having a softer mood. I see. It's because of my brother's influence. But I never thought that my brother was having that kind of relationship with her. Oh, don't worry. I'll stay in my room so I don't disturb you. Take your time. Hey, Nanami. What do you mean, a relationship? Damn it, Nanami. Oh, sorry, Rinka-san. I didn't mean to make you wait all alone. No problem. I mean, I heard your conversation with your sister. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. She's a fan of yours. I mean, I found out about you because of my sister. I see. Then, I have to thank your sister. It was thanks to her that I met Yuto, wasn't it? But, you know what? <sighs> Rinka-san, you're an idol. If anybody sees you with me, you might get into trouble. Don't worry. Well, considering my status as an idol, it might not be a good idea. That doesn't mean it's okay. But I really want to be with Yuto. I'm not going to leave, even if you say no. Rinka-san. That's why I don't think about anything else. If it becomes a problem, I'll deal with it then and there. We can think about it together. Just like talking about a song. Okay. Thank you, Linka. Thus, I made the decision to stay with her. And while we were spending time together, I somehow came to like Renka not only as an idol, but also as a girl. I took the plunge and confessed my feelings to her. Renka-san seemed to feel the same way. We ended up becoming lovers. I'm just an ordinary person. I'm not special like you. But I will continue to support her to the best of my ability.